Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2 with John Coleman, Art Kirsch, and the fabulous, fabulous Bill Jordan. <laughs> fabulous. All right, hey, Bill. You, man, I can't live up to that. Oh, sure you can. Hey, Bill, you are a wonderful observer of life. You understand the human condition like no one else. <laughs> can you can you feel the smoke blowing? Yeah. Oh, All right. Man, so Anna. here's so here, here's my question. I was in my closet the other day and I realized I have like eight pairs of shoes. This is unusual for men. Eight pairs of shoes. I didn't realize I have eight pairs of shoes. I probably haven't worn six of them wait, wait, in about wait, twenty years. That's like seven extra pairs of shoes that most guys have. Yeah. Exactly. Uh -oh. I'm in, guys, I can see, I'm in trouble boots? on this one. Yeah, I'm in trouble on this one. And shoes. Boots and shoes. Well, you know, there's a famous line, because you can't talk shoes, in my opinion, without bringing up women. Um, of course. When I, when I would be on the air, back in the day when I was on the air and a female co-host, and this happened actually with two that I can think of, almost the identical conversation. When it came up to how many pairs of shoes do you have, they both said, I mean, they weren't, these were, these were at different times, years apart. Each of them would say, well, sandals, flip-flops, and athletic shoes don't count. It's like, who? <laughs> the question is, how many shoes do you have? Famous quote from uh, Gallagher. You remember the old stand-up oh, comedian sure. Gallagher with a sledge o and he'd smash watermelons and all that stuff? <laughs> yeah. He had a great line about, women will buy shoes just to keep other women from having them. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I'm, I'm, uh, you know what? I, I, I can't explain this, but if I count athletic shoes, and that would include golf shoes, uh -huh. I may have in the mid twenties pairs wow. of shoes. Wow, that's well, a lot of golf. Before we, before, <laughs> before we wax, before Bill waxes poetic on, on this, uh, I'm going to admit that I have. Uh, Basically, two pair, of, not counting uh, slippers or things like that, or uh, athletic shoes, uh, like I used to have uh, river socks and things like that, is basically I have sneakers. And I had one pair of dress shoes, which I know are in there someplace, uh, because I wore them four or five years ago. But, you know, now that, you know, we've been at home, basically it's it's bare feet or, or, or sneakers in my world. What about you, John? Well, I'm. I, it's not a matter of how many shoes I have. In my mind right now, the question is, can I get rid of any of them? Mm. And even though I haven't worn them, I can't get rid of them. I okay. They still they still fit my feet. Why would I throw them away? So now let's get back to Mel DeMarcos, uh, uh, Bill Jordan, for a moment. <laughs> and uh, uh, have a wax poetic you. on I the haven't heard a Mel DeMarcos <laughs> reference in maybe... 30 years, that's pretty good, Art. <laughs> so, so, uh, Amelda, uh, what, what, pray tell, in, in your world is the primary difference between uh, the shoes you find in a, a, a men's closet or a woman's closet? Is there, or is there none? Well, there's probably fewer high heels in the men's closet, but I can't say that for sure. <laughs> Well, wait a minute. <laughs> exactly. You have to wait a minute. You can't make that statement anymore. Right. I don't well, know that. Yeah, you're probably but, right. But I would say that, Bill, you look like a guy who probably goes more for flats. Uh, I'm more a, for a flat, heel. maybe a little bit of, maybe an elevated heel upon occasion, depending on the design. But not, of the a, shoe. not a six or eight inch spike. I just don't see that on you. Only on special occasions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I blame this all on the transgender movement. I mean, once upon a time, men only had a couple of pairs of shoes. Women had lots of shoes. Now we've all got lots of shoes. We're willing to admit it. We're coming out of the closet. And it mm. never used to be like that. What's changed? Well, as you said, Bill, you know, sometimes well, you know, I, I have I, high heels in there. I'm not, uh, I'm certainly not a fashion plate, as you guys can tell. Uh, but, I mean, if I've got a pair, if I'm wearing some like uh, uh, slacks, khakis or whatever, and a navy blue sport coat. I may want some brown shoes. 
If I'm wearing a black suit, I may want, I've got black dress shoes. Uh, normally, day to day, and now here we are going, you know, summer on the way. I, I don't wear flip flops out. I, I'll wear them to the pool. And I've got a pair of Tevas, which a lot of people think are just hideous and ugly, but I think they're pretty functional. So I'll have those if we're going to the beach or something like that. But other than that, it's just slip ons, a pair of brown ones, a pair of black ones. I got a pair of deck shoes. Primarily for me, I use, and I really like, I guess what are called hiking shoes or trail shoes, the Merrells. Sure. I've got three pairs of Salomons. Uh, I got a black one, a green one that I have shoe gooed probably five or six times because I just love them. They they accompanied me on my uh, my skydiving jump with the U.S. Army Golden Knights, and I just can't let them go. Like you talked about, I can't let them go. Wow. So they have a sentimental value to me. They left a plane at two and a half miles above the earth with me. Yeah. And, by, and, and and they were the first things to hit. Well, no, my butt was the first thing to hit the ground. The <laughs> shoes were the second thing to hit the ground. So uh, those are just, I, I guess, there's, I hate to, I've never thought about having sentimental shoes, but I've got them. Here's the weird thing for me is I, ha I found a bag on my side of the, we've, we're, you know, we're not opulent by any means. My wife and I share a closet and it's a pretty small walk-in closet. She's on the right side. She's got a lot of shoes and she loves, she's gotten hooked on cowgirl boots. She is all about some cowgirl boots. Oh yeah. So anyway, mine's on the left side. So I'm cleaning up over there and, you know, I'm going to vacuum and whatever, tidy up for you know, the first time in five years or whatever. And I come across a, a bag, like a cotton bag and I open them up and there's a pair of brand new Cole Hahn brown dress shoes. Mm. Mine. I have no recollection of buying them. I know that I am so cheap. How would I ever buy a pair of Cole Hahn shoes? <laughs> I don't know where they came from. When you've got when you're a guy and you've got shoes, you don't even know where they came from. Yeah. Uh, that may be a problem. So I may yeah. need to look into shoes anonymous now. I don't know. Maybe I need a 12 step. I don't know. <laughs> By the way, uh, uh, the truth be known, I'm a Tava guy too. And I actually do have, I rarely wear them because uh, ever since uh, my sun damaged uh, uh, brain, a doctor, uh, don't go out in the sun, uh, basically has relegated the Tavas to the back of the closet behind the pair of dress shoes that I never wear anymore. And my sneakers, uh, I wear them out, but they stay out under my desk. I put them on in the morning, go out to the gym. And when they get real worn down, I go to Costco and get another pair. So I'm I'm a three, I think just about a three pair of shoe guy. Yeah, I mean, I, and I'll have to recount, but it, it, yeah, again, with golf shoes, but I don't play golf very much. And I typically lean on the same pair of shoes. It's just like any other kind of shoe. You just lean on that same kind. It gets back to... Uh, my embrace the boom practice of the 80 20 rule. What 20% of your shoes do you wear 80% of the time? And yeah, but you, you're, you're really special in that. About that. I, bet, I bet that those uh, jump boots are next to a pair of shorts that you promised you threw out years ago. And you know, uh, for, the ha for the hats that are really worn along the, the brim. <laughs> you know, I don't know what's happened to me this past year. Maybe because we've talked about it so much and I have posted on social media so often about my, I mean, it's got to be 25 plus years old Eddie Bauer cargo shorts that are ripped and torn and broken in, as we say. Yes. But I've kind of gotten away from the cargo pants and shorts. I've just, uh, I don't know why. Um, but I kind of have. I mean, I still wear them upon occasion. But the cargo pants are are not my not necessarily my thing anymore. Wow, wow, you're you're maturing, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing something. I don't know if it's maturing or not. All but, right, well, let's uh, not. There's there's better options, I guess. This started out as shoes. Let's not get into shorts. That's another <laughs> hour discussion. Yeah, certainly, don't get into Bill Jordan shorts right. because he's yeah. very sensitive well, about if I that. May, you know, I, I kind of started this off with a quote from the comedian Gallagher that women will buy shoes to keep other women from having them. There's another great quote that I'd like to close with, a quote from comedian Steve Martin. Wow. And he said, before you criticize another man, walk a mile in his shoes. And that way, when you do criticize him, You'll be a mile away, and you'll have issues. <laughs> well, I think I think that we're going to respect um, a, a bill and end on that note. Leave, I think that's leave, a good space to end. Absolutely, leave with wisdom, 
in our ears. That's great. Can't Thank you, it. Bill. Thank guys. And by the way, polish all those shoes. Some of them I can, some of them I can. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.